Hey guys, welcome back to the Bottom Manager 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a jump scare in which an object can be thrown across the room. In this example, it will be a book flying off a bookshelf. So I'll show you what's going to happen. You can walk up to it, and as you saw, that book just flew off. And again, like that, and it'll be completely random each time, like so. So it won't always land in the same place, the same position. And it doesn't always need to be when you walk in front of it, you can just be walking to the, next to it, and it'll fly off like that. Again, as you saw, different each time. So let's get right into it. So I've just deleted that and let's start again. So the first step is to create our blueprint actor. So we'll right click, go to blueprint class, get an actor, and I'm just going to call this book shelf jump scare. You can name this absolutely whatever you like. This just makes the most sense to me. And then BP and open that up straight away like so. And now what we're going to do is add our static meshes in here. So I have one for the bookshelf and then one for the actual book that I want to fly. So if we can just do that, so we'll just get a static mesh like so static mesh this one will be the bookshelf that i have made in blender this one won't be for download i'm sorry as this is one that i've just made myself for my own personal project but you should be able to find your own or make your own very easily as well but like as you can say this is completely untextured this is just like a first prototype and we'll get another static mesh so add component static mesh and then this one is going to be our book or whatever you want to actually fly so make sure it's a separate static mesh i'm just going to do that so it's not parented so now we have our bookshelf with our book in there like so and i'm just going to rename these so i know exactly what they are so bookshelf and book like so and then we also want to add a box collision so again add component box collision like so and this is just going to be the position in which you want the player to be in so that they can actually trigger this event so again put this where you want them to trigger it so i'm just going to put it a bit forward like this it doesn't matter where it is just so it makes more sense for you you can put this wherever you like and just choose where to trigger it. So I do that there and then go straight to the event graph. I'm going to delete these events. And if I select the box collision up here, right click, add event, add on component, begin overlap. And the other actor, we're going to get a cast to our character, mine being the third person character. But for you, this could be first, third, or whatever you've named it. So essentially, this is just going to be when our character is in this box collision, it will fire off this event. So then we're going to get a reference to our book static mesh that we got. So just drag and drop it in from the top left up there. We'll drag out of this and we're going to set simulate physics, plug that into the cast like so. Simulate, we're going to tick that so the physics is enabled. And then we'll drag out the book again and we're just going to simply add force. So add force like that, plug that in, and then we want to see where we want to do it. So we go back to the viewport, select our book, you can see we want to fire it this way so this is on the y axis like so go back to the event graph add a force in your y i'm going to put this at 100 but you can put this at whatever you like obviously the higher the force the more impact the book will have so the further and faster it will fly off the bookshelf or whatever example you're doing and so this is it so we compile save minimize that and just place it in our level like so i'm going to put multiple in just to show you the example multiple times like this and if I hit play I can walk forward the book flew off the shelf we go into this one it flies off the shelf again so again if I increase this force let's say 500 you can see what that looks like compile play you see it flies off a bit further that time so it's not too much further so obviously just increase it as much as you want but that's the basic part now obviously you can add a sound effect to this as well so you just drag out the add force and play sound at location the location would just drag out of that and get actor location so we're getting the location of this blueprint actor so it will play where we want it to and the sound you can put as whatever you want obviously if you have a jump scare one do that i think i do so we can play this i will link that jump scare sound effect in the description below it's from a previous video so if we hit play as you see we got that jump scare sound effect as well obviously it doesn't work that great with this example but it is just showing you that you can play a sound effect after you trigger this so that works like so and again you can even do it so that it is when you're walking next to it so let's say we want to just be walking to the side of it like this as you can see it's completely fully customizable for you you can just get this to work however you want so we're walking down the hallway and the book flies off in front of us like that this works perfectly so i think that'll be it for this video so we've done everything we want to do we've created a jump scare so that we can trigger an event to fly a book or any object that we want off a bookshelf again anything we want we are basically just throwing something across a room as if a ghost is doing it so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one